can't do this anymore. I just can't. It's just so much. Like, there's just so much to do and so much going on. I just, I don't think. I don't think I can handle this mess for a second longer. It's a disaster down here. Like, what happened? What seriously imploded down here that caused this? Hey guys, welcome back to Reality Daydream. All right, so we have a few things to move in the storage unit, stuff that we pulled out of the garage, and then we're gonna dive into finishing the garage because that's been an ongoing project that I just can't seem to uh, get around to getting done. After about three weeks of being on and off of just trying to get the drywall backers up, uh, we have it done. So I will mark that off of our list. I'm getting ready to go to the store. We're gonna pick up some, some mud rings and then I think we will be done with the garage. With the exception of getting rid of all of this. At one point we thought this was so cool because we had every shade of paint, every color, but we haven't used any of it in like the last three years. So it just sits. I see that you found a slice of sun, sir. As you know, we've been working in the garage for like the last two episodes. I've been trying to get this ready for the sheet rock and the paneling. And I've been ripping boards down on the table saw. Well, I came down here to do that today. Oh, we're getting rid of all this crap. Like, this can't be down here anymore. Uh, um, so I think what we decided to do is we are getting rid of all of this. We're gonna clear out like this half of the room and we're gonna paint these walls. And you know, at one point there was some water coming in here. So we've got a little plaster issue going on. So we're gonna take care of that. Uh, there is not water leaking there anymore. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't stand this like, like, I don't know. It's like a wannabe sunny morning, but it's really not. It's just kind of like a stormy disaster. This wall color. <laughs> All right, so we have all this stuff pulled out. I still need to get rid of this cabinet. This project has is turning out to be a lot more complex than I thought. So this stuff that's kind of powdery is efflorescence. So because water has come through the wall and this has gotten wet, there's the efflorescence is like a salt compound that's either in the concrete or in the plaster. In this case, this is all from the plaster, but it's left this like powdery material behind. And unless we stabilize that, that'll continue to like eat away and become powdery and then lift anything that we put on the surface. We're in a respirator. I've been at this for about a half an hour. And a lot of this stuff is just scraping off super easy. So everything above here is block. And they used a poured foundation down below. And they used, you can see kind of the board pattern here. And you can see where they used probably one by tens here to form it up. And that imprint is left in the concrete. It's kind of a cool texture in itself. But everything above that, that crown molding here, or the plate, plate rail, is blocked. 
and you can see they used plaster to kind of make that a finished surface. I think this darker brown stuff is original plaster that doesn't have a lot of issue to it. But this white powdery stuff here, that's where the effluence is where the water came through and the salts ate away at the plaster. And uh, that's what's just peeling off. So they used a mortar here, probably to kind of float it out, would be my guess. Part of the issue that I'm seeing here though, is like the effluence is back behind that mortar. So I'll take a mason hammer and just kind of tap on here and bust out anything that's, that's not solid. I was kind of surprised over here, everything here is pretty solid. What are you doing? Therapy. Make a quick trip to Menards. garage is awesome. Anybody else feel like a garage should be empty? <laughs> oh, who needs a place to park cars when you can just have an empty garage to stare at? All right, I have the final coat on and I went ahead and took a sponge and cleaned up this trim and it looks so much better. And then I have my partner down here helping me out here. We have some shelving from shelving.com and we're going to put those up. It's wire shelving, so it should be easy to assemble and easy to clean and keep clean. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to have like a taller unit here and then a low section under the windows and then another tall unit there. You okay? Do you need help? Um, no, I got this, man. That's good. There's a chair right here if you need it. While turning this old basement into a wood shop was never part of the original plan, it sure has been beneficial in turning our dream house into a reality. excited for pizza movie night! Me? Just put the pizza Ooh. Where are you Yes, I was. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one.